Hello first graders and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall and today we're going to learn about calendars. Our goal is by the end of today's lesson you can say, I am learning to read a calendar. For today's lesson you will need paper, pencil, and you can grab your learning packet. We're we'll waiting for you as you gather these materials. Today you will have an opportunity to practice your portrait of a graduate attributes. You can show your math thinking through writing and you can speak so others can understand your thinking. What is a calendar? A calendar is a tool you can use to measure time. Yesterday you learned about clocks. You learned about digital clocks and analog clocks. They are both tools that measure time. Calendars are another tool that we use to measure time. I wonder how long is a day? A day is 24 hours, like today, June 3rd. How long is a week? This teal color shows a week. A week is seven days. How long is a month? June is a month. June has 30 days. Months have 28 to 31 days. Months are about four weeks. This is a day. This is a week. A week is seven days. This is a month. A month is about four weeks. A month is 28 to 31 days. Use your communication skills to write or tell someone in the room which is longer, a week or a month. Blank is longer. A month is longer. We have days, weeks, months, and we have years. There are 12 months in a year. Let's use our communication skills and name them together. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. What is the name of this month? June. What month comes before June? May. May comes before June. What month comes after June? July. July comes after June.
here is our calendar. This row is the days of the week. Let's say those together. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's continue to use our communicator skills to share our thinking out loud. Here is today. Today is Wednesday, June 3rd. What day of the week is June 10th? Can you point on the screen where you think June 10th will be? Here is June 10th. It is a Wednesday. Today is June 3rd. What will be the date in three weeks? Here is one week, June 10th. Here is two weeks, June 17th. Here is three weeks, June 24th. What day is the third Saturday? June 20th. How many Fridays are in June? One, two, three, four. There are four Fridays in June. On what day of the week will July 1st fall? July 1st will come after June 30th. It is going to be a Wednesday. July 1st will be a Wednesday. Continue to practice your communicator skills. What will the date be on next Thursday? June 4th is this Thursday. But next Thursday is June 11th. How can we figure out how many Mondays are in the month of June? One, two, three, four, five. There are five Mondays in June. Open your learning packet to the calendar page. Let's read this one together. Lily's birthday is on Wednesday, July 17th. Her mom said she could celebrate two days before or two days after her birthday. Circle the days that she could choose. You are welcome to circle those in days in your learning packet. And below that, it says, explain your thinking using numbers, pictures, and or words. Using your paper and pencil, can you write a question that could be answered by looking at the calendar? You are welcome to write the answer by your question also. In today's lesson, we went over ways we are learning to read a calendar. Were you able to write to share your ideas? Were you able to speak so others could understand your thinking? Let's take some time to complete these sentences. 
I learned blank. I wonder blank. You are always welcome to write or tell someone in the room. In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned about ways we can read a calendar. Try to continue to finish your packet with the calendar problem. I'm Mrs. Wall. I hope you have a great day and keep on counting first graders. See you soon.